Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Study Junction and in this video we are going to see some of the very important practical based questions for class 9. So this video is going to have two parts. In the first part I will tell you 10 questions and in the second part also I will tell you another 10 questions. So these practical based questions cover the whole syllabus and will cover all the chapters and these are all the possible questions which can be made from uh, the chapters so i'm not saying that these will come as it is but uh, these are the most commonest questions which come in the exam so let's get started with the first question why does that so let's see the first question why does the temperature remain constant during the melting point of ice now this can come in theory as well as practical based part okay then we have what precautions should be taken during preparation of temporary mount of onion peel okay so from your uh, first activity of bio you have this uh, question uh, I must say that you should know the observations results and precautions of all your activities then only you will be able to solve uh, uh, answer all the questions which are asked okay so uh, these are just examples in which you are uh, um, ask the observations exam uh, and some other things but you have to learn the observations results and precautions okay then we have state the law of conservation of mass okay so uh, the second uh, law which you have in your chemistry so th that can also come so i think you all must know that these all carry two marks each so you will be asked five to ten questions in between them uh, and each of two marks okay so then you have from diversity chapter mentioned two adaptive features of bony fish now from that chapter you are going to have such kind of uh, feature questions okay so you have to uh, prepare the theory very well okay on what basis a muscle cell identified as treated under a microscope give to observations now in this you have to tell the structure and um, why they are called striated everything which is mentioned in your theory you have to write and you have to give two observations okay then you have what is the name and composition of outermost layer of human cheek cell now again from your first activity of bio so uh, you have to uh, do this really well then you have very important questions seventh question these kind of questions will be asked uh, for sure name the gas evolved when compound of fe and s react uh, sorry iron and sulfur react with dilute hydrochloric acid how will you detect the gas evolved now you have to learn all your observations and results from your chemistry that uh, second chapters uh, activity so these kind uh, of questions are really going to come okay then you have from your chemistry part you have to give reason from that boiling point of water activity this is based pumic stones are added it added to water and glass stirrer is used one more thing can be asked from this activity why distilled water is used and not the simple water is used to perform the activity okay so the answer to that would be distilled water has no impurities but uh, the pure water but that uh, ordinary water has some impurities so it raises uh, so it, it does not give correct uh, your measurement of your boiling point and melting point okay so this is the answer let's see the next question what happens when granulated zinc is treated with dilute sulfuric acid now this is the same question uh, sorry similar question from your uh, chemistry second chapter activity so very important questions these are you have to uh, learn all your results and observations especially for this activity because you can't uh, uh, make anything you can't write anything you need to give proper answer okay then last question for this video is what is your observation when sand solution is allowed to stand undisturbed for some time so from your sedimentation part you have to explain that whole thing you might have observed so for two marks you have to write this answer very beautifully okay in the next video we are going to see uh, some more 10 uh, some more questions 10 will complete the practical based questions in the next video so be sure to check out that video as well and i'm showing you this um, like this so that if you want to take a screenshot you can take right so this part you can now take the screenshot so i hope this video helped you a lot and i would see you all in the next video with some more questions till then goodbye